Hey everybody, I'm Brian McGuckin from Improved Photography and today I wanted to share about a review that I'm doing for the Black Rapid Double Breathe Camera Strap. You know, as photographers, we often need to carry around more than just one camera because we need more than one lens. And it usually is time consuming to switch lenses on and off. So by having two cameras, it's a little bit easier. It makes our job easier. The problem is you usually have multiple camera straps, one side around the neck to keep it on here, another side around the neck to keep your other camera on, and it's kind of playing a game of twisting and untwisting. So I decided to test out the Black Rapid Double Breathe camera strap to kind of make it a little bit easier. So let me share with you kind of just how it works and the way it looks. So this is it. It's kind of like wearing uh, shoulder straps, almost like a, like a holster in a way. It's uh, made of a nylon material, and the reason why this is called the double breathe is because the padding just allows it to breathe a little bit more, which basically kind of helps you from preventing to get the sweat marks on a day when it's hot or you're running around shooting a wedding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna put it over my shoulders like this and then simply clip it together. Now, what I wanna show you about the way it clips on is just all the features that make it really adjustable. It's easy to clip on, and then you can just adjust it as tight as you need. And then they come with this little clip here that allows you to take the strap and put it in so that way the strap's not just hanging all over. The correct way to wear it is to where you have the R facing to the front. And then you're gonna see these little plastic clips. There's two on each side. And then there's a carabiner here as well. And I'll show you in a second the way these work. But I first want to show you how you attach your camera to this. So I'm going to show you two different ways. What they do is they give you this kind of ring with a little uh, screw there to attach it. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this and attach it to the bottom of my camera. And I can sit there and twist it on. And I like to get it hand tight. There's a little rubber kind of gasket in there and you want to squeeze it down to where you kind of almost see the gasket kind of kind of smush out in a way. And then what you do with the carabiner is you're going to take the carabiner and you're going to simply slide it through. Then you're going to twist and close the carabiner. And so this is the first safety feature. So now that it's closed nice and tight, it's not going to open. Now what's new, I believe, with this strap is the plastic clip here. That's just a, a guaranteed kind of extra lock feature. So that keeps you on there. Now, if I did not screw this all the way tight, what happens is this won't close. So that helps you know, hey, you gotta make it a little bit tighter. So I'll make it tight and I'll close it. And so it's on there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the carabiner to kind of twist it just a little bit more to make sure that it's nice and snug. So there, I've got one camera attached. Now, if for some reason you want to wear the double breathe strap and you only want to have one camera, you can take the carabiner of the other side and you could attach it to the loop on your uh, belt buckle on the side. Now, I don't know really why you would want to do that completely. I wouldn't, personally. But you can basically attach this to anything that's going to have some type of a tripod attachment on the bottom, such as the bottom of your camera, or if you've got on your zoom lens, you've got the tripod attachment on it, you can put it on there as well. Uh, I don't keep that on my 70 to 200 unless I'm doing some other sports stuff. So for now, I'm just going to show you how you can attach it when it's already on. So I already have it on the carabiner. And so I'm going to start by twisting it on at first. And then the carabiner itself kind of swivels. You can see it twists right there. So I'm just going to use that to keep getting it nice and snug and tight. And there, now I've got it on. So that just saved me a couple steps from having to uh, twist the carabiner on and use the safety clip. Now, the height that you want typically is around the height of your waist. And so I've got both cameras on, and this is a great, um, a great function for being able just to use your cameras quickly and easily. Uh, I've used this before shooting a wedding because a lot of times in the ceremony, you may want to be zooming in nice and tight to get a shot and then you're gonna switch cameras and get something kind of wide really quickly, especially if after like the kiss or something, the bride and groom are walking back down the aisle. Now what they've done on the camera to keep it from kind of sliding all over 
is they have these two clips. And these clips slide and adjust really easily. You can see there's kind of teeth in there, but all you have to do is just grab and pull, and now it's locked. And I can grab this one and pull it as well too. But I'm gonna keep the back one down around my waist. What that does is when the camera comes back down, is it helps stop it. So that way my camera's not gonna really go behind me. Now if I wanted to kind of lock it in place, I could slide that down. So now it's not gonna really slide on the strap anymore. Now on this side, the same thing. I can keep it around my waist and then adjust this. So it adjusts really quick and easy. So now I've got both of them together and it allows me again to, oh, I had it locked. So it allows me to shoot, bring it back down, switch and shoot. And I don't have to sit there and bend over and grab another camera out of my bag or off the ground. I don't have to sit there and untangle the strap. So it makes it a lot easier. This is extremely comfortable. I don't feel it pulling on my neck at all. So it's kind of the, um, it's kind of evenly dispersed as far as the weight goes. One thing about this strap though is you can see the cameras do swing pretty much when they're on there. Now, they are gonna kind of stay separate a little bit, but as you're walking and moving around, there is a chance that your cameras can come together. And so that is the feature that I think still needs to be improved somehow. I don't know if they could come up with an idea for some type of strap that might easily connect to uh, your belt loop maybe, or some other type of idea. I, I don't know that. I'm not an inventor, so I'll leave that to them. But I, I really love this. I love being able to have my hands free and quickly and easily grab a camera and bring it up. Now what you can do with the Double Breathe also is you can take it and if I want to, I can undo that strap and then on the back, actually let me show you the back before I take it off. On the back you kind of can see that there's basically one strap right here that goes across and it connects it for me. But what I can do is I can take that apart. So if I slide this off and around, all I have to do is take this ring out like that and now it's separate. So now I have two singles. Now to wear it as a single though, I can't, I'm not gonna wear it on the same shoulder. Now I'm gonna wear it going across my body. And so actually, switch sides. And you can see if, if you wear it like this, it feels awkward because it's not on the right way. So you wanna kinda of pay attention to how it's on. If I wanted to have my camera on this side, I would use the other strap. So I'll just sit there and switch it. And now I have a single. And so this is great because during the wedding or whatever you shoot, um, you're able to wear it as a single. And then if I wanna switch back to a double, it's pretty quick and easy. I just need to bring it back up take this off and I'm going to take the hook and simply slide it right back in there like so and now it's attached so now I can take it back put it back on kind of like a backpack would fit and then clip it together and I'm back to double now when would I honestly uh, use this for me personally, I've used it shooting some NFL games. And what's nice about that is being able to usually have a monopod with a huge lens on it, like a 300 or 400, 2.8. And so these cameras can be by my side. So while I'm shooting, if I'm focusing on something down the field, I can quickly grab whatever camera I need next. Sometimes I'll be shooting with my 70 to 200, focusing on the quarterback, and all of a sudden the ball's in the air, and next thing I know the receiver in front of me is catching the ball and I need to switch cameras. Now, instead of sitting there and having straps all around my neck or having to pick it up off the ground, it's convenient to have it right here. The other times that I've used this uh, strap is during a wedding ceremony. As I mentioned, just being able to switch really easily and not have to worry about, you know, switching the, the straps over or going back to my camera bag. One other feature or thing about this strap that I'm not a huge fan of, uh, deals with how it, it does move freely. If you're bending over to get something out of your bag, they could collide again. I know I mentioned before how they just, with swinging it could collide, but also when you're bending over to get something from your bag. Now, shooting games or shooting any type of sporting event, I'm usually down on the ground, so if I drop to a knee to shoot, it's not that big of a deal. They're not really touching the ground. 
However, if I wanted to sit, which in a lot of NFL games, uh, I'll be sitting down on the sidelines, then they do kind of bump a little bit, and so you just gotta place them uh, more carefully. Most NFL photographers during games, if you see them on TV, they'll probably just have their camera laying down with a different strap, or they just have a bunch of straps over their neck. So this is very light and it's very convenient. You could actually kind of make your own. Uh, Black Rapid does sell this individual strap. And what you can do is, if you own the singles, you can connect the singles with this little snap, simply in the back, like where you saw these, this strap that I have right now. Now, the thing about this strap is it does not fit with this type. You can notice the button won't fit there because these straps are just a little bit thicker than the singles. The singles are thinner, so it would snap on better for that. Um, other things uh, about this that I like is, it, like I mentioned before, it is very comfortable. It's very light. The straps are nice and thin, so they're not as thick as some other ones are. Other ones may tend to be kind of uh, thicker and more like a seat belt almost. Um, but I, I don't really feel like I have a whole lot on. Now, when I'm shooting a wedding, I typically will be wearing like a black shirt, a darker shirt. So you're not gonna see this. In a way, some people might look at this and think, oh, it looks goofy because you see this whole strap and it looks like I'm a gunslinger, you know, being able to shoot and then come back down. But if I'm shooting a wedding, I'm wearing a darker shirt, it's not a big deal. And really the convenience of it kind of makes up for that. The strap is really comfortable. I am looking forward to using it more because it does make it just more convenient for you to be able to go from one camera to another and not have to sit there and switch straps over or have them get tangled. Now, this strap uh, that they offer, which again, this is the Black Rapid Double Breathe, it's gonna run you about $150. And again, the reason why they call this the Double Breathe is I'll show you here the material inside there. It's got like a little cone mesh area, just which allows it to basically breathe better on your padding. So you don't feel as hot and you don't get, again, those sweaty marks that are there. Now, for $150, the ease and the convenience over time, eventually that pays off. And I, to me, I feel that it's worth it. Now, if you've been distracted by this hat, it's because to me, this is my favorite hat. It's also sent to me from Black Rapid. However, I don't believe you can buy it. I looked on their site for it and I didn't see it or a price, but uh, I wear it all the time because it is comfortable. So, uh, although you can't get yourself the hat, again, you can get the strap, go to blackrapid.com and it again will cost you about $150. So hopefully you find this helpful and thanks for joining me.